Although touching is not allowed, Dilo was grabbing the head of Beard. I just had done a surgery on my head. How do you get a top-notch beatboxer in 2030? More melodic, less technical. I think for everyone online it's interesting. How rusty Beard is right now. We are going to have Beatbox Bottle as a guest. Oh! Really uncomfortable to talk about, but I think it's necessary to talk about it. It's like scammers in the beatbox scene. Wow, Beatbox Bros. Jolly, no gain side to me, let's beat the box at the chi. Beat the box of blazers. Beat the merak so no episode of Yokoso. Today we have hot topics again. We're watching some of the round two GBB wildcards. But first of all, Beard, how are you doing? Yo, man, I'm good. Wow. Your Japanese is fire, bro. <laughs> right? <laughs> Did you understand anything I just said? Yeah, because you speak so clearly. Yeah, right? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah man. I had some workshops, you know, with Rofu and stuff. <laughs> yes, yes. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, my question was, how are you doing, bro? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm you fine. have a new haircut. Yes. It, I, it looks I have like, a new haircut. Looks like you're... you're uh, you're preparing for an MMA fight. I am, actually. <laughs> yeah. Who are you fighting with? <laughs> um, versus the strongest beatboxers in the scene. So that would be, what is it? Kenny Urban, Zeka. King Homeboy. King Homeboy, Sinjo. Yeah, <laughs> oh, all against me. Imagine King Homeboy and Sinjo, the, the New Zealand monsters. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> where, is it, where are such big people coming from New Zealand? I don't know, special food. Lord of the Rings, Jews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, How are you doing, bro? I'm fine. Also, uh, a bit shorter hair now. Yeah. Just, 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 just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit shorter. Yeah. Looks good. That's all the news <laughs> in my in my private life. <laughs> nice. There's nothing else. We just passed past three thousand subscribers, which is good. Woo! Yeah. It's going fast, man. 1,000, 1, 1K with every video. Yeah, we're doing good. It's Wednesday right now, so we'll, we'll gain a couple of uh, uh, subscribers more until Sunday, but yeah. We just have to do one K, uh, 100 uh, videos and then we have 100K. Yeah, Quick 100 math. videos incoming. Yeah, quick math. Yeah. So uh, this, this, this would, there will be 100K subscribers in 2025. Wow. Yeah, because so fast every week. Oh man, that's too slow. Maybe maybe that's we too have slow. Yeah, maybe we have to increase the pace. Like we have to be funnier, more or more frequent podcasts. <laughs> Let's see how this goes first, huh? Yeah. Um, and with that said, we have another uh, uh, top comment of the week. Woo. So I'm going to uh, kill the previous one by Jason Leffler. Uh, you have this to. One. You have to. Destroy it. Yeah. In front of the camera. Yeah. We're gonna destroy it. Buy last comment of the week. And eat Buy it. the tree that made this paper. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's gone now. Uh, but we have a new one. This was the top comment of last week's video by Tyler, right? Yeah. Tyler. It's a very nice one. I will uh, read it first. Um, Given the talk of Zeka and Collapse, I would be interested in hearing Beard's thoughts on the D'Lo head maneuver from 2019. Ooh! Here it goes. Yeah, so, so for everyone who doesn't know what this comment is talking about, uh, there was an incident with D'Lo and Beard on stage, GBB 2019. And although touching is not allowed while battling, D'Lo was grabbing the head of Beard. Well, the thing was, the thing was, not many people know, and I don't want to like uh, 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 the the maneuver itself for me was fine. Was within battle limits for me. It's it's fine. It's just uh, uh yeah, it, for me it wasn't too aggressive. But the thing was, I just had done uh, a surgery on my head, and yep. that was very fresh. So, um, but Dilo didn't know. But I I felt like uh, uh, the going with the head like this would ruin uh, some of the surgery, or at least uh. Yeah, uh yeah. So like I was I was super scared at that moment. It was a perfect move because I like I was like uh, I was uh, uh, what is it uh, uh, freezing freezing up because I, I was constantly thinking like about the surgery. I was yeah. like, oh no, uh, is he messing up the surgery right now? So like he couldn't know. Um, How fresh so, was it? 
It's like a couple of weeks, I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's a couple of weeks uh, fresh, maybe a month. What kind of surgery? <laughs> you want to know? Huh? <laughs> I did. A, I did a hair transplantation. So yeah. yeah, all the hair that you see right now that is from the hair transplantation. So yeah, that that was the surgery. Yeah. Um. But yeah, yeah. So that was the thing. For me, the the maneuver was more than fine. I just you probably could see in the video if you look at my eyes. You could see, like, oh my god, like, uh, like I froze up because I was like, I was thinking, no, that's where I had the surgery. So, you know, yeah, yeah. it was a scary moment for me. Ah, oh, okay, I understand. Yeah, like I couldn't, I couldn't tell. Like I, I didn't, like I know you did the surgery, but I didn't know how fresh it was. I can tell it can be really painful. This kind of surgery. Just from 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 people telling me, you know. Yeah, the maneuver itself wasn't painful. No, I was just, but it was just like uh, yeah, but yeah. It was, the the wound was kind of fresh, so I was like, I was like, uh, I felt like uh, that could could mess it up, you know. Yeah, understand. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, but technically, it wasn't really illegal, right? Like you can't touch a person, but he didn't touch you. He touched your head. I think. Well, if if we're speaking like. In terms of uh, uh, what should be able, uh, something you should be able to do, like you can say, like, well, when you grab like someone's shirt and you go like this, it's also just grabbing someone's shirt, uh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I think there should be like a line that that says like uh, maybe like only when it's inviting, or you say not at all, because because I, I sometimes see like uh, beatboxers they they grab like another beatboxer and they like like do something like this. It's very inviting. It's very friendly. Yeah. Um, but like grabbing someone's shirt or 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 in this case head, it was a little maybe a little too aggressive uh, for my taste. Maybe it wasn't necessary. You know, you could have just taken the cap instead of like uh, doing the thing. But yeah, yeah. Uh, people like aggressiveness. And uh, but you, we talked about this the last podcast as well about the the um, touching. He, he was touching like his face. Mm. Um, Yeah, I think I think we should just say just before the battle, like to any uh, competitors, be like, maybe no touching. Yeah, you know, this you should can, be a, like, an official rule. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't even understand. Like, uh, when I was still at Swiss Beatbox, like we all would agree that uh, touching is is not allowed in any case. You know, like there should there should be there should be like no th th there should be no exception. You know. And then if there's yeah, no so exception and people beatboxes because know that. people afterwards will be like, will be like, well, that's not allowed, you know. And then and then people are like, well, we didn't make it really clear for the yeah. for the contestants. Yeah. So and then and then it's in the middle and not, nothing happens. But I think maybe for next GBB it could be cool uh, for them to say beforehand to be like, guys, anything is possible during the during the battle, but not not like physical uh, uh, touches. Yeah. I think I think that's I think that's a normal rule. I I, I yeah. generally try to not touch. It like, should uh, be. Uh, oh, I do remember there was one uh, uh, battle against codfish, and we just did like a little tap, which was really like a friendly like <laughs> or something. Like uh, we did like a just a just a pointy thing. That was nothing too much. But yeah, yeah. if they would have said before this battle too, like uh, we don't do any touching, then I probably wouldn't have done the yeah. The, The tapping, but that and was I, really like soft. And I also remember Codfish would do something. I would do a hi hat and then touch someone's oh, nose. Yeah, he did it to me first. Ah, yeah, to so you. Yeah, yeah, and then I, I I replied, yeah, that's that's correct. This, by the way, was the GBB. Ooh, was it 2000 and I think it was 18. 18? Yeah, yeah. I think so like too. I, I remember like, battle for the third place. Like the the in my, in my mind, the video looks better, so it was 19. <laughs> The video quality in 19 was mm. better than 18. So it was 19. Yeah, I think it was 19. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think yeah. you guys met. At, ah, it was this. Was it the small final? Yeah, the small final. Yeah, and then you won, the right? Place. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Pretty really good, bro. So yeah, technically, thanks, man. technically, you're also GBB champion because you technically, beat. Technically, I'm nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, but you defeated the GBB champion, so you're technically the GBB champion. <laughs> yeah, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think this topic is closed now. <laughs> 
I think we can move on to yeah, the yeah. next one. Touching, touching, not touching. We, we're talking about it for two episodes already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to Speedbox, if any one of you guys watches, if, if anyone <laughs> at so Speedbox is still interested in beatboxing and you watch this podcast right now, make it an official rule, please. No touching. Mm -hmm. This is discussion for every year. Every year we're discussing the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, should we so we should we switch to hot topics? Yeah, let's go. All right, hot topics of the week. <laughs> hot topics of the week. So first, first one. It's not really a hot topic of the week. I think this is a hot topic for the future. Okay. Uh, so, so my specific question to you is: um, How do you get a top-notch beatboxer in 2030? So how in seven years. So what will be the style then? You mean exactly. like how? Like what? What do you need to have as a beatboxer to be still top notch in 2030? Ah, okay. So you're talking about someone who is already like on point right now. And so what does so he like, need to keep doing? On, on like on like the level of let's say you or Zeka or Dilo Dilo now, yeah. but in 2030. I think it's gonna all gonna be more musical. I think everything is just like slightly, you can see it every single year, Every uh, everything just becomes more structured and more musical <clears> every <throat> single year. I think that's the only uh, but what, trend I see. What means more musical for you? More melodic, less yeah. technical. Okay. I think, yeah, I think uh, beatbox becomes more, and then it's, yeah, I think, yeah. I think but, that's it. But do you think it also will be like, like easier to digest? Like when you say less technical, like for me it's like you know, like singing can also be really technical. Yeah, well, I think that that will might stay the same, but like instead of, um, it becomes like. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> that made no sense, but you know what I mean. Yeah, right. it's like it's like easier easier to understand for non beatboxers. You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the beatbox will become more digestible and uh, yeah. yeah, more prone to being viral. So, like on on like Discord and stuff, like let's say the underground beatboxer will still be like really technical and stuff. Um, so. I think I think this this will go like both ways, but let's stick to like to like the big the big names, right? I think you're right. It will get get more musical. Um, I also think like so. So let's say we're talking. Let's say talking about um, uh, education, the, the education yep. for beatboxers. I think uh, at one point it will get necessary for beatboxers to at least take one or two years of singing lessons. And understand musical theory because, like, at one point, there's like, there's no way that you can write better music than someone that's that is educated in this. You know, like in beatboxing right now, it's kind of like everyone is kind of self self taught, and and we get mm -hmm. inspired by other beatboxers. But I think the more beatboxers we get into, who actually have a musical background, for example, like Dan, you know, like yeah. Dan has perfect yeah. pitch. He's he's a trained Uh, trained musician um, Gene uh, I know he was studying uh, at the Berkeley Jazz School I think and he was studying okay. drums um, yeah. Rhythmind uh, is a is a is a drummer he was playing drums before before he was uh, doing beatboxing uh, so this, this Alem uh, yeah yeah true Alem and and I think musical education will be more and more important for, for beatboxers too. So there's no way you can just go on Discord and try to... I think that's the magic of beatbox though. Like always this this kid who has no musical background who just destroys everyone with like the craziest techniques. <laughs> that is beatbox to me. There will always be like the the underdog or like the the outlier, you know, who who doesn't follow the, the normal path, but still makes yeah. it, you know? Like just yeah, like yeah, yeah. by natural talent, you know, he he listens to stuff and then he he just by intuition can make make it sounding good, you know. But let's say let's say you're someone who's not like this talented, you know. 
Yeah. Uh, like like for for instance me. <laughs> I like I, I I wasn't born with super talent like his, you know, like his was at at, at like G, in the GBB finals after 3 years or 4 years 17, of boxing. Right? Yeah, he was No, I think he was 16 even. 16? Okay, wow. Yeah. 2017, uh, he was in the finals against Napalm at GBB and and this time I think he was 16. The, the, the problem is like, I was asking him back then how he, how old he is. He didn't even knew himself because in Korea you count the age differently. Wait, that sounds like a scam. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like uh, you oh, start... They, they count from, from when you're, uh, um, not when you're born, but when you're... When your parents had sex. <laughs> Is that is that is that the thing? That is crazy, dude. <laughs> then your parents are like, "Yeah, that's the day." <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't really know. Like I asked him, and he told me like it's kind of like this, but also not exactly like that. So I don't understand. Or they just count nine months back from maybe exactly yeah. nine months back from okay something like that. Yeah, it's 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 str like for for our cult, let's say for Western culture, it's it's a really unique way <laughs> to count age. Also this one guys, uh, Korean Korean watchers, please type in the comments how that works cuz I'm um, I really want to find out. Yeah. That sounds interesting. Yeah. So anyways, let's get back to the topic. So I think so, so let's say, let's say there would be a beatbox uni uh, university. Yeah. If I would be like one of the teachers or if I would be someone who creates like the courses I definitely would say so every beatboxer has to take at least two years of singing lessons and and he has to either play a rhythmical instrument but probably even more important like play play like a melodic instrument like guitar piano anything to to uh, train your ears you know for for melodies because I think like I realized this when I when I started to take uh, piano lessons Uh, you start to get used to how how a C a G how a chord sounds like, yeah, and um, this this helps to um, to to be better with pitch because like when you're on stage you have no pitch reference like this is the I would say the biggest difference between a beatboxer and a singer is a singer usually sings on top of a playback, so he yeah. hears a melodic reference in his ear right like he knows which key to start in because the, he hears the piano a beatboxer like He has to come on stage, and he either needs to have perfect pitch, or uh, he needs to needs to get used to the to the tone that he needs to start on. Yeah, to be yeah. in pitch right away. Um, otherwise, yeah, and I think this uh, this is something you only can achieve if you um, at least practice. Like you, you don't have to kill it on the instrument, but practice the instrument to, to train your ears. You know, for melody. so you're thinking like the top top ten percent beatboxes will all be educated. <clears throat> That's your guess. I don't think they all have to be educated, but it will definitely like let's say let's say there would be a course where you study beatboxing. This ha this is a must have. Yeah. 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 There, there, there still will be beatboxers who kill it without any of these things. You yeah, know? I, I think there will be still like too many. I we, we should watch this back in like 10 years or what was the prediction? 10 years, right? Yeah, seven years and seven years. Oh, seven years. I, I think there will be just as much because I think beatbox, um, the thing about beatboxes is, is that it like, It's for people that don't want to study music. <laughs> so I think in seven years there will be just as much like beatbox nerds that just like just beatbox all day and they're just good at what they do. Yeah. But obviously, obviously, what you're saying helps massively. Yeah. Yeah, but then if you want to get professional, you know, you want to write pieces, uh, you want to collaborate with other musicians, it helps to know the theory, you know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. So if you really want to get professional, I think it's it's necessary to and at least the basics, you know. Yeah, guys, what do you think? Type in the comments. <laughs> We're gonna do this with every yeah. single topic. Do you have another one? Uh, yeah, the next one. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know what's coming. <laughs> so uh, we all know Beard. Uh, you said you you stayed away for. For a year now. When was your last battle? I have no clue. Maybe, maybe it was GBB. Maybe I did a battle after that. But I think it just. I think it was GBB. 2021. I think yeah. Yeah. Okay. So besides besides uh, BBU, of course. Like I don't see BBU like a real battle. Yeah. No. No. So yeah. then it's GBB. Yeah. GBB. Yeah. Okay. 
So it it's it's been one and a half years that we that we already did a dance battle actually. I think I did a beatbox two dance battle in the Netherlands. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. And I won both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I I think I didn't see that one. Like I no, saw. it's it's like it's 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 pretty small. Small. Uh, um, recently they did it again, and I didn't compete. And uh, Joey won. Joey. Ash Plume. Yeah, Ash Plume is his beatbox name. Mm. We call him Mr. Crow. Like he has a, like a ah. <laughs> he has like the craziest <laughs> ah base. <laughs> okay. Yeah. A- anyways, so I think for everyone. Online, it's interesting to hear. So let's say, let's say you How and Rusty me, BR is right yeah, now. Let's let's say you and me, uh, we at GBB, we both uh, qualify for the battles. Um, we battling in the first round. What's the first round that you would do? And you uh, against you? Yeah, exa- against. Are against you gonna me. time one minute thirty? Um, of course, I'm gonna time it. All right. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, no pressure, bro. It's just GBB. It's not <laughs> world champs. <laughs> uh, but if it's GBB, I'm, I'm I'm confident that I'm not battling you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about GBB 2030, you know. Like, oh yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, then in my in my 40s, and then I'm actually uh, maybe I already found my motivation to practice <laughs> properly already. Okay, you ready, bro? Yeah, let's go. Okay, crowd, are you ready? For Beard, he's in the quarterfinals of the GBB 2020-30 against Maddox. Beard, your first round in three, two, one, <laughs> beatbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, <Wow>. you're rusty. <laughs> that felt rusty. No, no, no. no. <laughs> wow, the, the 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 one technique that that you did with the clicks at the beginning. I think this was the first yeah. time I heard it. This one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That one usually doesn't sound on stage as good, but it's. Uh, I did it once against MB14. The second round, the last. Six seconds of my round, I did like. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but you, you didn't. Can, you, can. you didn't like extend it. No, no, no. Yeah, but yeah. the technique is really good. Yeah. Yeah. I sick. agree. I like it. Sick. Yeah. Nice. So you still can do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Maybe. And now you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but beats from 2030. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> maybe we can do this. Like, uh, I'm. I'm answering next time. Cool. But then you prepare. Uh, then it yeah. should give you a handicap. Yeah, like, but, but, uh, but you can't thing. use any snares. Can't use any <laughs> snares. Yeah. So guys, in the in the chat, let us know. Like, should we continue this? Like, like make a make a series out of it. You know, and and then you know the next time you answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every single time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you can answer to the beat I did before. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I mean. So it's it's like yeah, an endless good. battle. <laughs> yeah, and then we can show. Th- <laughs> yes. and then we show all the rounds from an entire month. Well, every single month has like a, a full battle. Yeah, and we show it at the end of the. Anyways, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, 
I'm Sounds gonna good. lose every every battle. <laughs> Anyways, guys, <laughs> let us know in the comments what you think about this idea. Okay, so uh, I think we all can agree BR is still not is, is still in his in his prime. In his prime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so much in my prime. Um, let's go to my hot topics of the week. Or did you have another let's, one? Let's let's go to. I have. I still have one. But we can we can uh, we can check out yours first. First one is: What do you think about the the fact that people have to do a second round in in the wild card competition? Ah. I think it's easier for judges because uh, now they don't have to choose, to choose like top sixteen, but top th how, how much? How many was it? Eleven, I think. I read. No, but uh, how many are in the second round now? Oh, like twenty three. Twenty three. Is it twenty three? I have to let me check. Look, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so prepared. So yeah. prepared. In the meantime, um, we probably didn't say yet, but it's probably <laughs> super interesting that we are going to have Beatbox Bottle as a guest. Oh yeah. Yes, we didn't even we didn't even mention in the entire <laughs> podcast, but we all have Beatbox Bottle as a guest, and um, he's gonna be. Uh, we're not gonna see his face. We're just gonna hear his uh, voice. So I hope I bought enough time for Maddox to go back to the round two thing. Mm -hmm. okay. Do we have the facts? So uh, for the round two, there's 25 people qualified. 25, okay. Yeah. And then I don't... 11 is the next round. Is it 11? That's what I heard a comment on Instagram say. But you think so? You think it's it's easier for judges? Yeah, because like imagine from like, How many people did apply? Like 200, 300 people? Yeah. And like, let's say top 50 is easy to make, but then it gets harder, you know? And uh, if you if you directly need to go down to 11, probably like from 11 to 20, there will be like people who are like equally good, you know? Mm -hmm. And so 25, I think it's easier. Like right now, even now it's it's pretty hard because like, Look, uh, Vartang still didn't make it in, you know, he's in place 26, although some people would agree that he deserves to be inside. Yeah, and, I would agree uh, too. If it would be he's less... stadium beatbox. <laughs> <laughs> and if it would be less, um, then uh, it would be even harder. Should we also say that we have Taras Tanin as a guest, like in the next couple of weeks? Uh, you just said it. Yeah, I guys, we're going to have Taras Tanin in one of <laughs> our features. We'll have, we have him... We'll have him in the uh, as yeah. a guest as well. So and we're also working that. on uh, another one. Another one, should we say? Yeah. Quite an. I think it's amazing. I, th I I looked it up. I think he's number 17th on the biggest platforms on TikTok. I'm not sure when this is recorded, but it's Panzer X. I think it's very great because we've been talking about making money with Beatbox, and I think uh, if someone knows, if anyone knows how to make money with Beatbox, it's Spencer X. So I'm really excited to have him on the podcast. Yeah. yeah. And I also think um, he, he could be an interesting person to talk about toxicity in the scene. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone got like toxic comments, the most toxic, yes, toxic yes. Yeah, I think it's Spencer X. Especially from the Beatbox scene. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. But uh, I wanted to ask you, sorry. Yeah, no, you, you ask first. No, yeah, I wanted to ask you one more uh, hot topic before we call our guest because uh, uh, he's on a tight schedule. Let's finish this one and then we, we can yeah. we can do your hot topics after the interview with Beatbox Paul. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. We'll, we'll do that. Um, so your question was, um, if I think it's good with the round two. Yeah. So I think for judging, it's good. It's a bit easier to make to make the right decision. For the beatboxer, it's a bit more stressful. Also, he has to waste like two rounds. And I think, you know, like you can't go to GBB and do exactly the same thing on stage. <laughs> well, you can. A lot of people did this. Yeah, but then you have to you have to put a twist on it, I think. I think it's cool. I think it's, uh, you're practicing for the GBB anyways. Mm. And it's great to have another routine and you practice another routine. You go through that, you make a video, you sol solidify it. I think it's cool for the artist. And it's also like a very good way to gain following towards the event. Like another video where you can promote yourself, I think it's cool. Mm. Yeah, but it, it it will not have the same surprise factor. No, maybe not. I I like how how Bress his first video was in a in a fucking airplane, dude. 
And then the second one is just in his room. <laughs> it's like <laughs> all his money is spent. And he's like, second round? GBB, you gotta be kidding me. I have to do a second one? Yeah. All my money is yeah. <laughs> I put, in the, I put in the airplane. Yeah. Yeah, also like um like Napalm, he was just doing it in his bathroom. Yeah. Also Max, uh, I remember Max uh, for the first so for the first, I remember, <laughs> of course I remember because I was mixing it. And Max was, <laughs> <laughs> like he hired a guy to shoot the video. He hired me to mix the audio. Um, but, for the, oh, yeah. but for the second round, it was just a phone recording. Oh yeah, I saw it. Yeah, I, he put in so like, he put in like, yeah, I just did the raw recording. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just did the raw recording because my money is gone for the first <laughs> video. To be honest, it, it was not a money issue because he reached out to me for the no, second I'm kidding, round. Obviously, yeah, yeah, no, like you, you can't know. Uh, he reached out to me and he was even sending me the audio. Uh, but then before I even started mixing it, he was like, "Bro, I I listened to it and I think it's garbage. I want to do it again, but oh, I yeah. will not. I will not have enough time to record it properly. So I'm just gonna make a phone video." Okay. Yeah. Um, so Actually, sounds dope. I I heard it a small bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. I think it's very awesome. Like the the one he did, he he posted now. I didn't listen to the one he said it's garbage, but the one that he posted now, I also think it's awesome. Yeah, but I think so for for artists, of course, it puts more pressure on them. But for art, also for audience, I think it's amazing because they they get more to listen from their yeah. favorite artists. Yeah. yeah, hard to say. For me, there's no yes and no. That's just some pros, some cons. I, I I like it. Like it's a personal thing, but like I, I like the second round. Yeah. I think our guest is ready. You think he's ready? Oh my gosh. I think I'm, he's ready. I'm a bit nervous now, bro. Like how <laughs> This is gonna be so weird in a good way. <laughs> yeah, like and also like how 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 he's manipulating his voice so we can't guess who he is. And like, he's like the thickest Dutch accent, yeah. you know. <laughs> hey guys, I uh, uh, so uh, what are the questions uh, today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like super French. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys, uh, please. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, uh, please. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm manipulating my voice, so yeah, yeah, I yeah. hope you understand. <laughs> <laughs> you will not be able to uh, hear what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's let's um, get him in. Wow, beatbox bros. I am a vegan ginger now. I'm a German. I'm not ready to flow. <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> so this is the butt. Yeah, I think so. So we have we have three of you right now. Can you all talk? Yes. Yes. Inward bass without any <laughs> <laughs> without any effects. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're here with Beatbox Bottle TV. Uh, it's gonna be simple. We just have a couple of questions and um, Thanks again. Thanks again. Yes, yes. Thank you. No, no, no. <laughs> So we pre we prepared some questions for you. We are yeah. just some uh, we we prepared for us uh, by ourselves, and we also have one uh, some of the Instagram audience. And then we we top it off with three questions from uh, again from ChatGPT. So if you've seen the uh, the episode with Zaka, we have three again from ChatGPT. Would like to ask you some questions. So um, let's uh, let's start with the first one. When when is a joke or slash meme too much? Is there a limit? Never. <laughs> but I do delete posts if people ask me. What? What was that? I delete posts if people ask. Ah, uh, okay. So, so when when people get too outraged. But how many people have to outrage? Like sometimes, if it's two people, no, three, a hundred. Collapse. If it's collapse. <laughs> Ah. And every single American beatboxer are alive. <laughs> every single American beatboxer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> is there a specific one? Like, is there a specific beatboxer who would reach out to you really often from America? You Napalm almost killed me in real life. Napalm? You yeah, almost killed me. Villain is also not my best friend. <laughs> okay, but where where did he try to kill you, Napalm? Mm. 
Or you can't say. That's also fine. I accidentally exposed his address. <laughs> oh my god. What? By accident. The thing with, with Napalm, I actually just uploaded his address and went to sleep. But you, you uploaded his his actual address? Yes. <laughs> with what purpose? For people to go to his house? To go there and maybe give him a hug or something, you know? Just give some love. I hope people actually give him a hug and don't do anything crazy to his house. Yes. Okay, well, cool. Um, I, I'm going to go to my second question. Um, was Swish Beatbox your inspiration? If not, who was? Mm. Shifty. Shifty Beatbox. Another meme yes. account. Yeah, and Eon. Eon, yes, yes. Eon, so, so Swish Beatbox, basically. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, what's, what happened to Shifty, yo? Like, I don't see him posting Shifty anymore. Shifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> uh, next question. Will you ever show yourself? No. no. Yes. Yes. Yes, no. Maybe, Maybe. No. no. Maybe, yeah, no. No. If you give me $500 million, I may be <laughs> show my face. Hello, I am the best one. Okay, okay. It's so funny. When, when you're guys answering, I'm trying to just no. guess what the accent is from, but I, I just cannot tell. I said yes. <laughs> Stella de Fragen. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what, what, what was Maddox. that, Maddox? Yes. Do you like beef? Me? I'm vegan, bro. I don't, I don't like beef. That's pretty dish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going to okay. get demonetized. Maddox, that were my three questions. Go over to yours. Yeah. So I have, I have some questions from the audience. Are you ready, guys? Yes. First question is by... I have no clue how to pronounce it. Kogel Lundsson. Um... Ah, so this person actually thinks you guys are multiple people. Uh, so he's he asking, do they feel like their content encourages toxicity in the beatbox community? No. Why? We are the truth. But you're not man manipulating the truth. We are the voice of the people. Understand. It's a solid, solid inward base there. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Maybe it's D-Lo. <laughs> The thing is that everyone else is manipulating the truth. Yeah. But, but you're telling the truth. We're just one perspective. But you're multiple people, so you're multiple perspectives, no? No, we are one. It's anonymous, basically. Yeah. But you're also, po like when, you, uh, when someone asks you to post something, are you, are you like researching if it's, if it's the truth? First of all, we are at cell. And second of all, no. We are Maddox. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we just upload, man. Yeah. Anything. Is, is there any, yes. like, if people send you stuff, is there any boundary? Yes. Yes. What is the boundary? Picture of beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so when I send you a picture by beer, you're not going to post it? No. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's move on to the next question. Next question. Maman, est-ce que je peux avoir du lait, s'il te plaît? Un peu, un peu de lait, s'il te plaît, maman. Merde, merde, putain, mon micro. C'est pas grave, il va pas de Damn, I, I wish I could speak French. <laughs> what, what Sorry. Was that? <laughs> next question is by, by Zeka Music. Maybe you know him. He's asking... What should be the perfect bottle be filled with? You. With me. You, Maddox. <laughs> you, you are the secret ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the accent changed from inward base to outward base. <laughs> it was like too painful. He's like, <laughs> oh, shit. This is not inward base. It's inward ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best interview in whole history of men. <laughs> well thank you Maddox is there a third one yeah uh, so next next question is by Marley um, and he's asking 
or she, I don't know, I don't know what, what gender. Uh, when will you drop the final statement? 2035. <laughs> wow, that, that's pretty long. What, why, why, so, why so long in the future? If you wait for something good, you can't wait enough, right? <laughs> True. It's, it's kind of like Star Wars sequels. We are the future, you know? <laughs> Last question is by Raoul. Hello. And he's asking, why are you so sca scared to show yourself? Because I, yes, artist no show, no show face, no show go face. No show go. I want to be artist, not human. You understand, okay? So, so my. I am artist. <laughs> We are artists. Artist doesn't show the face. Yeah. Not human. Yeah, not human. <laughs> So my What theory, is happening? my theory is uh, like when Swish, Swish Beatbox was also unknown before, and the day when he released his um, his face, like when we don't care about your theory. We don't care. Fuck you, Buck. Like here we go. Let me finish. Let me finish this. <laughs> when when he when he released his face, I think this was when it started to get. Not interesting anymore what Swish Beatbox is doing. What do you think about this? Yes. Right? Exactly. And it was easier to attack him. Yeah. He's human now. <laughs> yeah, he's not he's yeah. not chat he's not open AI anymore. But that was just for fame. He wanted to be famous also. I think that's that's true. Yeah. Did it work though? I mean no. I mean people know him more now. I think it, it helped. It helped Aeon as a beatboxer, but it didn't help Swish beatbox. Mm. Yeah. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Be All right. Let's, yeah. let's switch GPT to... GPT questions. Questions from the future. Here we go. Question number one. In your opinion, in your opinion, what makes a meme funny? You. Yeah. If someone cries of laughs, That makes a good meme. So you provoke emotion. A good meme is either mm, true, fun, or offensive. Or beef. Or beef. <laughs> We call it TFO. What's that mean? True, fun, offensive. TFO, wow. Okay. That's sick. Never heard that before, but that's <laughs> <TFO>. good. TFO. <laughs> Nice. Okay, next one. It could be one of yourself or one of another meme account. What What's a meme that you think is overrated? If Maddox can do a TFO beat, it would be an overrated thing. <laughs> can you do it, Maddox? A TFO beat. A TFO beat. <laughs> nice. Best mm. thing ever in years. Nice. I think I recognize that clap though. Are you from Austria? That's a typical Austrian clap there. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. All right. Let's uh, let's uh, go to the last one from Chat GPT, which is what meme did you get the most criticized for? Before we answer this one, clap for us. Clap for us. You sound very much Austrian yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, guten Tag, meine Freunde. <laughs> yeah, that's it's good, yeah. But, so, so what is it? Let what me is think. Let okay. me think. The most hated meme. Yeah. I have to think hard. Let me think harder. Hmm. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Thinking sound. Let me think harder. Wait, wait a minute. The most offensive meme isn't here yet. Maybe in the year 2047. <laughs> 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 Can't wait for that one. 2047, 
the date of Maddox's entry at GBP, the most hated meme, was probably mm, against an uh, American football player. American football player? Without socks. What the fuck are you saying? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Against an American football player. Oh, peut-être oui. Mbappé ou uh, N'Golo Kanté, peut-être. Il se pourrait bien que ce soit même uh, Giroud, peut-être. Je... Oh, non, putain. What am I reading? What am I reading? What? Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Someone hacking our server. I am a tall vegan ginger journal. <laughs> I am a German salad ready to flow. I am a tall vegan ginger journal. I am a German salad ready to go. Nice. Wow. First jam of beatbox bottle. Yeah. We should make a tag team, yeah. bro. This was amazing. Um, I mean, we, we went super quick through all the questions. Anything you want to add, Maddox? Um, I want to add that I think hopefully now people know that I'm not beatbox bot. Yes, you are. <laughs> add me on Snapchat, Maddox. <laughs> yeah, because some, some people would uh, call me out because of some really shitty memes that beatbox bot would post. What the fuck are you saying? Not shitty, but TFO. Like the the shitty memes. The TFO. Fish. You Maddox. Fish. Yes. I hate you. I hate you, Maddox. You like a beef. I know it. The, you want a beef. The TF. You, you love beef. Beef, beef lover. Fish. <laughs> you. Oh my you God. The bear the <laughs> and there is also a fourth guy. Is he just listening? No. Yes, no. <clears throat> Maybe. Yes. It doesn't exist. It's rips one. <laughs> oh, God for Doma, but the good soy. <laughs> oh, Putin is in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fish was that? <laughs> that was in Dutch. So he can talk French and, and Dutch. He talks French and Dutch. He's from Belgium. Yeah, could be. <laughs> okay, our time to ask you some questions. Okay. Okay, yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. You have to wait for it. I'm wait a minute. I'm waiting. Okay, that was all the questions. Thank you. <laughs> wow. wow that, was, that was tough questions, bro. Not gonna no, lie. seriously, I am Supernova. Ah, okay. So Belgian. But, but Supernova can't, can't talk Dutch. No, sorry. Well, you can you can speak a little bit Dutch. Yeah, you can. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Guys, I think uh, I think we're uh, we're we're full. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> we us. Are full, yeah. You <laughs> you fooled us. <laughs> yeah, I, th I I think this was amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. And you guys, I, I remember we talked about like how to make your voice. <laughs> like like Thanks muffled or some fish. You Maddox. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Um, I am Big Box Puddle TV. Take care of yourself. I am Big Box Puddle TV. Okay, bye. Bye bye, guys. Thanks again. That was the craziest thing ever. Was uh, I don't know what, what just happened, actually. Me neither. <laughs> How do you feel? I had some expectations. Yeah. But I didn't expect this, like the dub butt voice. No. I also didn't expect that as multiple people. No, I didn't expect that. And they're answering with inward bass. And like, I had the feeling that beatbox bottle number three was Alexinho with the inward bass. Really? I, f I don't know why, I, that's the feeling I have, but that was like... The way he was digging into the mic. It was just like, I felt like that sounded a lot like Alexinho. Really? Hmm. But maybe maybe it's not and, true. And also, also, like there was one point where I felt like the dude who was speaking French, like once he said something and it felt like he, he said it by accident. Hmm, I don't know. 
I think I think he just this guy just put on like a video that he had on his phone or some shit. Uh huh. He put it next to the mic. He didn't say anything from himself. Hmm. This was <laughs> so funny. That was the most. That was the most confusing interview ever. I mean, we just had one yet. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I I think. I think for a long time there won't be a more confusing interview than this. Yeah, I'm. I'm so happy. I'm not. I'm not editing this too. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's nothing edited, man. It's a podcast. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cut this too. We don't. We don't Anyways, <laughs> oh, you have one more um, hot topic of the week. Oh no, I have one more hot topic of the week, and we wanted to watch something. Yeah. What do we have time for now? Um, so I have one one thing I want to talk about. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, really uncomfortable to talk about, but I think it's necessary to talk about it. Okay. Yeah. So it's like scammers in the beatbox scene. Ah, uh, yeah. D did you did you ever like did you ever um, have like uh, experience with this? I just had one one guy who didn't pay for a beatbox lesson, and um, and then he paid years later. Like five or six years later, he messaged me to ask for something, and I asked him about the money, and he, uh, I think he paid the uh, the beatbox lesson amount, or a little bit less, or a little bit more. As com I think he paid a little bit more as compensation for the years. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, so, so like, he, like he also paid taxes. <laughs> he paid, ta yeah, he paid inflation costs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. That's that's honorable. What what did he ask for? Like uh, years later. Like how, how did how did I he reach out to you? Don't remember, but it was like some like question about it, it could be about a beatbox battle or like ah, or like okay. uh, or like about gear, like, you know, like what what mic are you using or some something like that. <laughs> That's also weird. Like he was ghosting you, not paying. Yeah, and then five years later, he was like, mm, maybe Beard forgot about it. I'm gonna <laughs> ask you a question now. Yeah, I think he asked about a favor. He asked a favor, and I was like, well. Before I do this favor, how about <laughs> you pay me back for the for the, the, lesson. Uh, the lesson from years ago? Yeah. And then he did. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah, like with students, I didn't have so many students. Maybe like one or two per month, something like that. Be because like I'm, I'm I was never ad advertising it, but sometimes mm -hmm. people reach out to me. Oh, I watch your analysis videos. Can we do a lesson? Blah blah blah. Then I do it sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, by the way, guys, if you message me on Instagram and you have a nice topic uh, you want to be taught on, like, I'm also like, you know, I sometimes I teach topics. Like there's one Aust Austrian guy, I was teaching him like uh, mixing, for example, how he can mix himself. Oh, cool. Yeah, stuff like that. So Yeah, same for me. So like if you want to have lessons for Maddox, from Maddox or for me, just uh, shoot us a DM. Ah, and also, um, like I... Uh, may maybe you remember I was texting you that we should do like live stream lessons. Yes. So the idea uh, for everyone uh, who didn't see my Instagram post, my idea was we invite, um, let's say five people to Discord and uh, Beard or me, or we do it like after, after each other, um, gives a lesson for or five people who can apply over Instagram or something. And it's going to be for free. But it has to be part of the live stream. So people can watch yeah. and see. And we choose a topic on what we teach on. So for, ex for example, um, we invite five people and each of them has to show, show us like his favorite routine that he does or a, f a routine that he's working on. And then we give feedback to it. Yeah, that's nice. That's like a separate video. Yeah, it's like, um, mean like a separate so it's live like, stream. It's, it's going to be live. Each of them has like 20 minutes. So we ha so we can do five in one live stream. I think it's nice to also for people to see like ah oh, he had these and he had these problems in his routine. I have similar problems myself, and then he he gets like your feedback or my feedback, and they can use it for themselves too. Cool, yeah, super cool idea. It's like a life life analysis. I think um, Beatbox will like this. Yeah, so people in the chat let let us know, and uh, if there's enough people who are interested in this, we're gonna do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But back to the scammers. I had a crazy experience last year. And I was thinking about not making a big deal out of it. 
but it's it's also a big amount of money that this person owes me. I don't want to say the, the the number, but let's say in Germany you can live a whole month from this. Like yeah, yeah, like it's average income of a German person <laughs> per month. Yeah. Um, and he asked me to do like nine videos, like tutorial videos. Um, and and the thing was like he was like it, it wasn't like a random person. I know him from like um, when I went to Korea um, to um, beatbox the world. I was competing. I think it was 2018, 18 or 19. I don't remember the year. I think it was 18. Anyways, it was before Corona. <laughs> um, and then. Um, Yeah, there was this guy I I got to know. Mr. His name is Mr. Boombox, and he was friends with his with Sin Sinjo, the the Korean Sinjo. He reached out last year to me, and he was like, "Bro, I have this crazy project. I want to create a met metaverse uh, stuff like that." I don't want to go too deep into this because I also kind of told him that that I'm not going to talk about the the insights. But since he didn't pay me, and since And since he also didn't follow the contract, because we had a contract, and the contract, oh, okay. and the contract uh, said that I'm gonna get paid 30 days after the project is done. Did uh, you film the videos? Yeah, I filmed the videos. I paid an editor to edit the videos because back uh, then I was really busy with stuff. But I was like, since I'm gonna get paid, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna like. So give, you made costs how, how much? Uh, I paid the editor. I think it was like 300 euros. 300 euros and a lot of time. And yeah, I invested time myself to create yeah. the, the topics, uh, to shoot the videos, you know. Uh, I was shooting all myself. It took me like two days, I think. Yeah. Yeah, plus the costs for the editor. And you know, it's and, and the thing was also, he was hooking me with like telling me, uh, yo, it's uh, I'm not only reaching out to you, um, I was also reaching out to a bunch of people and Napalm, Skiller, Collapse, all of them are also in, inside of this project. So this was for me like, oh, sick, you know? Like, um, it sounds like a really prestige project, you know, like all the big names. And uh, I want, so I, I also want to be involved, you know, if he asked, if he reached out to such yeah. big names. Um, yeah, and then like, I, I finished it, I, I was sending to him and um, then I was like, yo, Ah yeah, I signed the contract. I sent him the contract, and he was—he never sent me back a version of the contract that he would also sign. And I was like, okay. "Can you can you please send me a signed contract back?" He was yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm gonna send it to you." Weeks after weeks after weeks, no reply. Uh, okay. And then I was like, "Yo, bro, so how's how's it going with the payment? Uh, I'm still waiting for it." Um, And it would be nice if we can solve this uh, as as soon as possible. And then he 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 was kind of like like at the beginning he still was replying. He was like, "Oh, the project got delayed. Um, we we're gonna do the project in September." So it was like April May ish. Yeah. When we finished, yeah. and he was like, "We it's gonna be delayed." <clears throat> and then I was like, "Okay, whatever. I want to show a goodwill. You know, I don't want to make trouble." Uh, so I was waiting. September. I'm texting him. And since I think 22nd, like I, I checked WhatsApp uh, lately, I was texting him on WhatsApp, uh, 22nd of September was the last time when I didn't get a reply. So I, I was sending him then, and then November, message him again, no reply, nothing, you know. Texting the other beatboxes, like I was texting uh, Collapse. He told me he also didn't get paid. And um, I also texted Skiller, Beginning of the week, yeah. and yeah, Skiller yeah, yeah. told me that Skiller didn't even start creating the videos because he had an issue with something in the contract. Oh, and he reached out like, "Yo, can we change this and that in the contract?" But then this guy never replied anymore. Oh, lucky, lucky, uh, yeah. Skiller. <laughs> I mean, it was still. He told me it was already start arranging stuff, you know. Okay. So it was still like uh, pain in the ass for him that it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, uh, but yeah. So what I want to say is, guys, be careful. Don't do yeah. the same mistake. Wait until you have the signature on the contract. I don't have a signature, on, and this is my fault. Like I would, I would have needed to wait until I have a signed contract, because now, like when I go to a lawyer, 
You have nothing. I have nothing in my hands. I just have a contract that I signed myself, but he didn't sign. I understand you fall for this because it's like it's a beatboxer, you know. Like we're all community. We don't we don't scam each other. At least exactly like like usually when I go to a beatbox event, I never signed a contract before no. with a beatbox no. event, you know, because usually it's friends, you know, and usually also there's not not so much money involved, right? Yeah, true. But this was like a big payment, and like at the beginning, I was already like, "Wow, that's actually a crazy amount for 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 a beatbox project." You know, yeah. like uh, I I would get paid in like outside of the beatbox scene for like com commercial work or something, but for for like stuff in the beatbox scene, and it was like for so exciting for me. I was like, "Wow, finally, there's like projects in the beatbox scene that are well well paid." <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, and I was like, oh, I, I want to make the best videos, you know. Like everyone knows, I, I love to do videos, <clears> and especially <throat> when it's when I get paid for this, I was like, oh, I, I have to, I have to make them especially good. Yeah, so kind of feel used now. And why am I here saying this? It's not only to to share my story with you guys, but please watch out for people like this, especially this guy. I know there's a lot of there's like followers from Korea. And I also reached out to Sinjo. Sinjo. <laughs> I, I still don't know how to, like, I, I always call him Sinjo. Yes, Sinjo from, from Korea. I reached out to him uh, to tell him the story because I know he's in close contact with him. Yeah, and maybe if he has a different side to the story, please, uh, um, because you said his, his name is Mr. Boombox. Like, if he wants to, like, uh, make this right, please reach out to Maddox. Yeah. That would be really amazing. And because it's not only me, it's also uh, some other beatboxers. Um, and yeah, it's right now, if I would go to Korea and I would see this guy, I don't know if, if, if I would even say hello to him, you know? Mm. Because this You put is, a lot of work in it, huh? I put so much work and then like, okay, I understand if like the project gets canceled, etc. You know, there's some troubles. But then be honest, you know? Reach out. Be like, yo, guys, we have a problem, blah, blah, blah. Maybe, you know, maybe we can negotiate like yeah. a smaller compensation, you know, at least like pay my editor, dude. You know, I paid, yeah. like, I paid him beforehand. By the way, Speed Shock, uh, shout out to Speed Shock. He was editing all my, all my YouTube videos between February 2022 and uh, November 20, so f almost one mm -hmm. year. So he was doing stuff for me and I, w I told him, yo, Uh, there's a project uh, I want to give to you to edit. Um, you get a bonus for this. Um, yeah. And I had to pay him. And this is like money that I can't use for anything else anymore. Anyways, long story short. <laughs> watch out for scammers. Yeah, watch out for these scammers, guys. Yeah. Ask get for contracts, contract, especially yeah. when, it's so, when there's so much money involved. Um, yeah, we can't stress this enough. Also, at GBB, When Swiss Beatbox sending you contracts, read this thing. And if there's stuff inside that you don't agree with, you have the right to say no and not uh, to not sign it. And worst case, don't compete. But yeah, this this prop, especially when you're professional, if you want to be professional, really important. Totally agreed. Yeah, let's switch to something that is... <laughs> That's something fun! Yeah. Well, uh, uh, so scammers aside, um, because we talked about the round two, let's, let's uh, do two videos of the round two GBB wildcards. Yeah. Yeah? So let's do something uplifting. So we talked about ice... And napalm. 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 Let's start with napalm, because he's already up. Okay. What he created, created in his bathroom. No, this is not a bathroom, right? I just saw a comment saying uh, Napalm. Wait, what was the comment saying? Napalm literally just bathroom freestyles his way into GBB 2023. <laughs> 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 yeah, I really love this comment. Well, this, this comment is 917 likes. <laughs> Sick. Awesome. Let's watch it. Yeah, let's, let's check it out. Yo, what's going on? This is Napalm, and this is my round two for the GBB 2023 World League wildcard. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I don't really know what to say because it was really difficult for me to even tell what was going on the entire time because of the reverb in his bathroom. Yeah, is he is he sit? It looks like he's sitting down on the lid of the <laughs> on on the lid on of the, the toilet. toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like especially at the beginning, right? He did he did like a throat kick on the beat, and I couldn't. Yeah. I could barely hear the throat kick. <laughs> But I I can tell I can tell for a fact that it's not because um, he can't execute a throat kick no. because on stage usually it's heavy, but here in the video I barely could hear the throat kick because of oh, the. Oh man, it's 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 the second round of the GBV. Like like upgrade your audio. Yeah, it's it's hard to least, even tell what he's doing. At least do it, do it in less in the less reverby room. It was really difficult for me to tell what was happening. Like yeah. I think the, the the combinations I could guess they're really good. I just have no clue. Yeah, it was really hard to tell. Like also the, at the end, like the he did like a really strange liberal like, thing. Dum, dum, dum. Like yeah, I don't know what it, what it yeah. was, but it, like that sounded dope. Yeah, but it 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 looked like a great technique. I have no clue how it sounded. Yeah, exactly. Like I have also no clue. Like it could be like it, it was like huh? what's happening? Was yeah. So I don't know, man. <sighs> this so, is really hard to judge. Yeah, for us and probably for the judges too. Man, why why is that problem making so hard for us or for the for the judges? Yeah, <laughs> this and, for the judges is like it's so difficult. Yeah, it's it it's almost it's almost more difficult than judging like a fully produced wild card, overproduced yeah, I, wild card. You know, I I think so. Yeah, I think this is harder. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the next one because I, I I cannot say much. It's so hard to give feedback, right? And also, like yeah. it was it was uh, mostly freestyle, so that that's the only thing yeah. that I can say. Like structure wise, you can tell it's a freestyle. Like th there's nothing like that like st stuck in your head. Not not like with, the, with his last wild card. Like his yeah. wild, last wild card at the beginning had had like a theme going, and this this was stuck in my head. I'm really excited to see what the judges do with the scores with this. Are they like, yeah, it was really good. Um, uh, yeah, it's Napalm. <laughs> it's Napalm, like top three. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm glad we're not a yeah, judge. We're just so looking at the video. to say anything about it. Let's, let's watch a, a ZVD. Yeah. Yeah, or Ice. You know what? Or both. Let's, let's check out both. Since we, since we were yeah. kind of promoting both of them, uh, yeah. In our first podcast, let's let's check out both and let's compare like um, if they made like any improvements to the last one. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's start with ice again then. Yeah, let's check because out. Because we ice. did that with the other one too. I tried. I said. Is ice. And sign. I tried and said his eyes and said Insane. <laughs> 
Wow, um, Maddox, <laughs> you say something. So compared to his first one, yeah, yeah, his composition is way better. Mm. The stuff is stuck in my head now, you know. Mm -hmm. Like it has a theme now. The, the the last one was just like flexing sounds and yeah. techniques, yeah. but this one has a theme now. You know, it has a story. I think the wave flexing sounds. I like the first one better. Mm. This one was cool though. Yeah. Maybe also because I heard the sounds now. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I'm 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 trying to give good feedback. Also, the like, the like, uh, like the, the the snare he was doing. I'm not sure if he was doing it using it as a snare before. Like now, it sounds like this white uh, noise yeah. sound. Like he was combined. <laughs> I don't I don't know yeah. how he's, how he's doing it. it. Sounds so dope. Yeah, so the editing was kind of funny. It was it was really good, and then the, the side, <laughs> the sides, uh, like the black, uh, um, black bars, the black bars. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's kind of funny. I don't know <laughs> what that added to the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it gave it, it gave it a certain vibe. To be honest, like you can tell, it was just like somewhere in his room. Yeah, like the rest be. of the effects were dope though. Yeah. So, uh, video edit by Zerpa? Maybe? No, it's mix. 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 On the left side, it's Pe. What is his name? I can't read the, the logo. <laughs> Pen. Pen. Yeah, guys, if you, if you make logos and if it's like abstract like this, put your real name under it. I have no clue who this is. But dope, nevertheless. Um, I liked it. Originality of sounds. You you would say the last one was better. I think. Well, I'm tr I'm trying to. Maybe I have to see it more often. But I think the, the I really enjoyed the build up, mm -hmm. and then the drop not so much. The first drop, so right? Think, it was kind of yeah, underwhelming. Th yeah. So I think I think the 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 build up was like, oh, okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, and then and then it dropped, and it was a little underwhelming. Mm -hmm. And I didn't have this feeling with the other video. <laughs> yeah, because like in the first drop. Like the main thing was like the lip roll, but then the lip roll wasn't as like so special. Mm -hmm. But then also the rest that he was adding on the drop, like there was there was no sound that would that would spice the dr first drop up, right? He could stick with the lip roll that he did in the first drop, but then do some other things next to it. The lip roll stuff, I think it sounds really nice. The way he was pitching it, it sounds really powerful. Um, but it wasn't like like an unexpected texture to it mm. or something like that. But then the second drop, I, I felt like... That was good. Yeah. So you think the main issue is like the first drop? I think so. I, I have to see it again to give more, yeah, yeah, yeah. more in-depth feedback. Yeah, but yeah. We, we are, we are yeah. here like at live GBB, you know? You only see it once. <laughs> you only see it once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Else, this, yeah. this this podcast is gonna be <laughs> way too yeah. long. <laughs> All right, let's 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 get ready for DVD. Okay, last one for today. I'm actually excited for this. For me, ZVD was the best newcomer, I would say. Mm -hmm. 
Taron tarau, taron tararu, taron tarau. Listen. Still got time. Eight. Okay. First impression. Again, first drop I didn't like that much. Um, the second drop I liked a lot. And then at the end, introduced some new sounds, but I think he could have done more with it. <laughs> He had he had some introduced some cool things, really dope techniques in the uh, uh, like at the second half as well. He had like a, uh, he said something and then, and he did like a bunch of like uh, he did yeah. like a bunch of techniques. It sounded really dope. The way he used that cool technique, like like the uh, uh, could have been sicker. It was a, a little off the first too, drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like this is my cool technique. The, like it, it was, it was kind of like a surprise, kind of like how he would da -dum, da -dum, switch this into da -dum, da -dum, like this. In what technique? Yeah, it's too too. You mean too uh, um, <clears throat> expected? Yeah, like I think this was the idea, right? To switch it up to like this high pitched voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah, the melody, sure, but sure. then switch it up. Yeah, for sure. I think for me, like it worked, but then at the same time, like. The intro for me, it didn't catch me so much. Like for example, with his first thing, right? He had a really sick theme, so I was really yeah. into it. And then when he dropped it, it was like it was kind of like a relief, you know. This yeah. time, the intro wasn't as catchy to catch my attention with the intro, you know, to give me like certain vibes, you know. I want to have goosebumps with the intro if you do melodic stuff or whatever, you know. <laughs> catch me with your story first, and then the, I think the drop. If if the intro would be different, but he would do the same drop, it would hit different. I think. I do agree with the um, intro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but not with the drop. I I think. Well, I, um, I'm I'm thinking back. I think it's also that the the amount of bass in the in the build up is like way heavier than in the drop. He goes like, <clears throat> is like some bass, yeah, uh, like, and then <clears throat> he, he something like this. Yeah, and then he drops it with like. I think there's almost no bass, right? Like just, ah, or yeah, does yeah. he do like a true? Or does he do like a lip roll? I, don't, I no, no. He was like doing just a kick and then the inward technique. Yeah, so that's I think that's also what what is lacking. So he goes yeah. from a really bassy uh, intro intro to to a drop mm -hmm. uh, where he just drops only highs. Yeah, true. Yeah, for me this one felt more like a battle routine. I think this something like this works more in a battle than, for example, in an elimination. Like his first yeah, white card yeah. was more like an elimination round, for sure. Yeah. yeah, and this one was more like a battle routine. And then if he if he would like put some battle moves inside of it, I think it would work better than just like this in the video. And then uh, there was one more thing uh, that I noticed 
where I think he could improve on when like he switched to a drill beat at the end. Yeah. Yeah. And there was like a little timing issue. But also the the drill beat didn't catch me. Mm, okay. I think it was also a bass problem, if I'm not mistaken. I kind of liked it, but uh, it was throwing me off that he uh, lost the timing a bit. So it took me a while to come back. To Look at us being so critical after the first like we're like hyping them up, and now <laughs> we're so critical. <laughs> but like last week, we were like super hyped about the crew thing. Yeah, and I think, uh, I think the problem now is also it's really hard because we're not comparing to something. We compare this like to perfection. You know what? What is this routine missing to be perfect? Yeah, right? yeah. It's it's not like they're bad wild cards at all. No, no, exactly. It's they're amazing, but we we compare we uh, straight up started with like, what could you improve on this? <laughs> the comments would be like, what happened to them? They were so happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I still think it's both of them are amazing wild cards. To recap on um, on ice, I really love that now he started to work on themes. You know, yeah. maybe like yeah. the like you said, like the uh, surprise factors and stuff. Like uh, he didn't catch you as much with like patterns, but now he has a theme. You know, and ZVD, I think he should stick to what he did before. Like I'm having an amazing theme. You know, like this time I'm like like I said, for me it was yeah, and, and work out the new techniques that he has because because he obviously can do way more than just a do 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 inward uh, cool thing. Um, and work them out to be like cool beats, uh, uh, and not just show them as a as a battle trick. Like I can also do this, <laughs> right? I think he could have yeah. done like a like a cool thing with it. True, yeah. true. Like like maybe reduce the techniques you use, but expand more on them. Yeah, I would I would yeah. say yeah. Like he has a lot. Like I can't think of every every technique that that he would do because he did so many different ones. Yeah, he has so much skill. He even did the post snare, bro. <laughs> even the post snare. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, that's cool. So uh, uh, last time we only watched one video. Okay, we watched two, but we had to cut out one video because it was Sarukani, and apparently um, you, we can't use we can't use Sarukani um, in a YouTube video because it will taken down. Um, yeah, so that's why we had. Only one reaction the last podcast because we couldn't uh, upload our reaction to Sarukani. Exactly, but this time as a compensation, three videos. Yes. Yeah. I, I <laughs> hope I hope we can keep it. I hope that's <laughs> three is really good. None of them will be claimed. Anyways, uh, did we did we close all our topics that we wanted to talk about? Well, yeah, I, I just wanted to ask about, but that would like. Um, what, what is, is it? it? Your general your general idea about uh, a meme meme accounts. What they do for the beatbox community is it good? Is it bad? Ah, you know what? Let's keep this topic for next week. Exactly, cliffhanger. Let's do that. We need cliffhangers. You know, guys, what do you think about meme pages in the beatbox scene? Is it good? Is it a good commentary on the beatbox scene? Is it bad? Are they sometimes being toxic and provocative? Let us know. Is it more fun? Make, does it make the scene yeah? Make, more fun? Does it make you laugh? Does it make you cry? Yeah. Cool. All right. So I think that's Guys, it. Thank you so much. I'm looking at the camera now. I'm using a different camera. I uh, I hope it's better than uh, last time because the <laughs> colors were kind of flat. Now I'm, I'm I'm super spicy. Also, I got some new lights. Let's go. Um, guys, make sure you get the top comment of the week next week. The one with the most likes gets it. This one has 166 already, like uh, 50 or 60 more than uh, than last week. Uh, so comment down below everything you think about this podcast. Thank you so much for watching. And click the click the next video. We had Zeka in the last video, and we we uh, asked him some really uncomfortable questions. For example, about the case where he would touch collapse. Really worth it to watch. <laughs>